Good afternoon folks, it's a real pleasure to have you joining with us and thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you were with us the other day, we were talking about W.P. Nicholson and the wonderful experience he had on the seafront in Bangor whenever the Lord filled him with the Holy Spirit. And the next uh, Lord's Day morning, the next Sabbath morning, uh, this was the Reverend W.P. Nicholson's home church. Uh, back in those days, it was a very, very respectable church. I don't know what it's like now, but back in those days, it was a very well-to-do and respectable church. Uh, WP hadn't been in the church for quite some time, but he felt now constrained to really go to church and worship the Lord and sing God's praise. And he came along that Lord's Day morning to the, the Presbyterian Church here in Hamilton Road in Bangor, full of the joy of the Lord, full of boldness and full of enthusiasm and really wanting to praise and worship the Lord because he had broken through now to a new place of victory in his life. And in his own words, he says, he walked up the steps here to the doors of this church and he was met by two elders. He didn't call them elders. He says, I was met by two Irish Presbyterian blurts. Whatever a blurt is, I'm not sure, but it doesn't sound like a very complimentary word. He went in, took his seat and he said he was singing not sure what the hymn was, it might have been Psalm 100, but he was singing with all of his heart the opening praise that Sunday morning, singing louder than anybody else in the meeting because he had got something now that he didn't want to lose and he really wanted to worship the Lord, singing with all of his heart. And he said, there was a lady standing in front of me and she was singing rather quietly and sedately like so many others in the church. And she looked over her shoulder at me a couple of times and sort of gave me a dirty look as if I was being disrespectful or singing too loud. And he just says, I sang all the louder. And she looked over her shoulder again. And then he said to himself, if she looks over her shoulder at me one last time, she's going to regret it. And so he sang all the louder in the last verse. And she looked over her shoulder at him. And Double P. Nicholson said, I stuck out my tongue as far as I possibly could. And she was absolutely disgusted. He had got a boldness. Maybe he was a bit uncouth. And there was a little book that came out about W.P. Nicholson many years ago. It was called The Rude Evangelist. And W.P. Nicholson was uncouth. And maybe he was rude at times. And there were things that he said or did that he couldn't justify or stand over. But you know, somebody once said, it was Graham Scroggy. He said they can say whatever they like about W.P. Nicholson. But the proof of a man's ministry is in the goods that he delivers. And W.P. Nicholson delivers the goods. And it's interesting that whenever W.P. Nicholson was an older man and the Reverend Ian Paisley was a young man being ordained to the Christian ministry in the Ravenhill Evangelical Church in East Belfast, W.P. Nicholson was at that ordination service. Whenever the service was over, Nicholson came up to Ian Paisley, who was just a young preacher, and said, young man, I have prayed for you, and I am praying for you, that God will give you a tongue like an old cow. Ian Paisley looked at him, he says, have you ever ran your hand down a cow's tongue? Smooth one way, but if you go against the grain, it's as rough as a file. And he says, I'm praying that God will give you a tongue that's rough and will cut right to the heart of the enemies of the gospel. And that was certainly a prayer that God answered for the Reverend Ian Paisley. So W.P. Nicholson, one of Bangor's great sons, a great evangelist who saw a real move of God's spirit, especially in the 1920s down there at the shipyard in Belfast and in many other places where he preached the gospel, revival fires followed him. And know that God would move again by his spirit and that God would give us tongues that are sharp, tongues that are swift to sing God's praise, tongues that are swift to share the gospel. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. Friends, thanks for listening. See you again next time. God bless you.